Hello everyone, welcome to the second video in the devlog series for my upcoming 3D game. In today's video I added new textures, new props and much more. Before I begin with today's video I want to announce that we are so close to reaching 600 subscribers. So if you enjoy the content you can subscribe cause that helps me a lot. Also click the notification bell if you want to get notified for whenever I upload a new video. I also want to thank x Thanos for the amazing fan art for Gravity. Alright now, without further ado, let's begin with today's video. The first thing that I added this week was a new ground texture. The aim for the first level is for the character, or should I call him by his original name, the Bean, to start at a factory. This might sound weird for you guys, but for me it doesn't cause I have all the lore planned already. So yeah, here's the new ground texture. In the previous episode I forgot to mention that I added a reload animation. Now, after you shoot 10 bullets, a simple animation will play. I added reloading to make the game more challenging and balanced. The animation also works for the pistol. After the reloading animation, I added a new enemy. The new enemy will follow you like the first enemy, but every 2 seconds it will also shoot. I implemented the shooting with raycast. As you can see, Jesus Christ, I didn't know Shroud was playing my game. <laughs> yep, as you can tell, Raycast makes the enemy not miss a single bullet. That's why I made the enemy shoot prefab so that the player has a chance to dodge the bullets. I also added an enemy that shoots with an AK. The bullets from the AK move way faster than the bullets of the pistol so that it can be more challenging. After that I added walls with a different texture so that the level looks more like an actual factory. The map will be split into more rooms, in each room you will have enemies. After I added the walls I added different props to the map. Here's the time lapse of me adding them. Most of the new props are barrels, but there are also other props so that it doesn't look boring and bland. After that I added a door that actually functions. What I mean by that is that I added a door that opens and closes when you are close to it and press E. I made the door function by using animations. One animation for the door closing and one animation for the door opening. The final thing that I added this week was an object that when you touch it, spawns the enemies. Before you can walk in the next room, you will touch a trigger that spawns the enemies. This change will make the game run better. Before end the video, I want to announce that I have my own Discord server. On the server you can talk about game dev, about my channel and much more. Plus recently I've been streaming random games, for example Celeste, so if you join the server you will get notified for when I stream. The invite to the server will be in the description and in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the second video in the devlog series for my upcoming 3D game. If you enjoyed the video you can subscribe cause that helps me a lot. Stay tuned for more uploads and until then I will see you guys in the next video.